Hi everyone, Sherry here. Today I'll be making a recipe out of the Betty Crocker's Good and Easy Cookbook. It was copywritten in 1996, and the recipe that I want to make, it's under the, the Do Ahead section, the Super Easy Chicken Manicotti. <music> So what all goes into the super easy chicken manicotti? One jar, 30 ounce spaghetti sauce. This is 24 ounces. I am taking it on a limb here and I'm using tomato, basil, garlic to give it a little bit more flavor because this recipe is kind of bland. I'm not really going against the recipe. I'm just tweaking it a little. One teaspoon garlic salt, 14 or eight ounces of uncooked manicotti shells one and a half pounds chicken breast tenders. I have chicken breast strips. One two and a half ounce can sliced ripe olives drained. This is six and a half, so I'll be using about a third of it. Two cups, eight ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese. As you can tell, there's not two cups in there. I do have some provolone and mozzarella cheese too. If that's still not enough, I do have some other cheese that I can use. It may be a mixture of cheese. So let's begin. Spread about a third of the spaghetti sauce in an ungreased 9 by 13 pan. So these are a little bit wider than I thought, but we should be able to roll them up and do what we want with them. Take your garlic salt and sprinkle it over the chicken and I'll rub it in and everything so each piece will have some. Okay, let me get my assembly line going here. So take a piece of chicken. Like I said, we're probably going to have to roll it. Take a manicotti shell and stuff your chicken in the manicotti shell. And if you can't get it to go in all the way, one way you can start filling it in from the other way just as long as it's full. And you don't want to push so hard that you break the manicotti shell either. All right, so it's filled up on both sides and then lay it on your spaghetti sauce. I'll finish that and I'll be right back. So I have my last shell here, barely have room for it and we will just stuff that last one. Wasn't too bad. If it got too thick or whatever, I just trimmed it and then stuck the rest of the it in later. So it was all full. If I can reach it from the other side and pull it through, it works a lot better. I haven't broke any, surprisingly. So with this one, it's full on this end. I'm just, I'll just cut a little bit off and then stick it in on this end here. Then that way it's still full and I'm not going to break the shell. Tuck that in. A lot of them are sticking out a little bit but I think that's okay. That's the last one. We'll stick that over there. So there's our pan of the chicken stuffed manicotti. Take the remaining sauce 
and pour it even, evenly over the manicotti shells. Then take your black olives, and I have about a third of that can, and sprinkle the olives on there. You can add whatever condiments you want to it. I'm just doing it as the recipe states. Next time I can adjust it to whatever I want to change. Then take your cheese, sprinkle that over it. I think this pack has probably about a cupful. What's nice about this, it's a do-ahead recipe, and all you have to do is take it out and cook it. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit of the provolone mozzarella blend on there, just because it's a little bit different kind of cheese. That way we'll have two different kinds of cheese on there. You need to store this in the refrigerator for 24 hours if you're wanting to, to cook it right away because it helps the shells get softer. And you know what it's like when you have manicotti and the shells are hard. So put some foil on tightly. And let it hang out in the fridge for 24 hours. If you wanna freeze it, you can freeze it for a month. You just put the foil on just like this and put it in the freezer for up to a month. So we'll see you tomorrow when we cook this. So it's been about 24 hours. We'll take the chicken manicotti from the refrigerator, preheat the oven to 350. If you're going to cook this from the freezer about an hour and a half before you serve, you heat your oven to 350 and bake it covered for about one and a half hours or until shells are tender. So take your super easy chicken manicotti, put it in a preheated 350 degree oven for about an hour or until the shells are tender. So here is the super easy chicken manicotti that I cooked for an hour after having it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. This recipe came from the Betty Crocker's Good and Easy Cookbook, copy written in 1996. So we'll get it dished up and Dave can do a taste test. So here is the super easy chicken manicotti. Rounding out the meal is southwestern quinoa. Let's see what Dave thinks. This is alligator. No, it's chicken. Chicken. <laughs> so I guess chicken on the alligator and alligator on the chicken. But that's a good idea though. Like it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.